Charles E. Ayers, Dean of the College from 1966 to 1973. Both the institution and the community have been transformed by the great care and loyalty that Charles and his wife, Jean Ayers, have shown to generations of law students. Charles Ayers has been and continues to be our admired peer, our leader, our teacher, and part of our family. Well, I started in 51, and I think Chuck was, I've always known him as Chuck, so he's going to be Chuck, not Charles, was a third year student. And I probably knew him, but the, the gap between first year and third year students was pretty big. So when I first really got to know Chuck Ayers was after he clerked at the Supreme Court and he came back and he went to work at the county attorney's office. I met him when I was a first year law student in 1973 here and he taught uh, civil procedure uh, and he also taught constitutional law and I found his civil procedure class to be at first mystifying, uh, terrifying, and then really captivating. One of the vivid memories I have of law school was my first day as a student. And I remember being in my very first class on a Monday morning. And I was anxious, I was nervous, it was criminal law. And the professor was Charles Ayers. And I remember him coming into the room and not just walking down those stairs, but what appeared to me, he was running down those stairs. And it you know, was a wonderful class. Uh, he was a great teacher. And I think he really piqued my interest in criminal law. I first met Charles as a visiting professor here at the college in 2005. Uh, we were here for a visiting year. I taught at Emory Law School for 17 years before that with occasional time spent at other institutions. Uh, but as with other members of the community and the faculty, if you're around here for any length of time, you'll get the opportunity to meet Charles Ayers and uh, anyone given that opportunity should seize it. Charles has used his substantial talents to change the law school and the practice of law for the better. He emphasized civil liberties, social and educational equity, engagement with public debate, service to others, adaptability and loyalty. His contributions have been recognized time and again, including the college's Lifetime Achievement Award bestowed in 1999. Now, on the 50th anniversary of his deanship, we celebrate his remarkable life, clear and fair voice, and warm friendship. I think um, his deanship is viewed as a time in which the stature of the law school was elevated. Uh, he had some wonderful hires of uh, young, uh, brilliant scholars and brilliant teachers, and there was an energy that he brought to the school that was, um, I think, very much perceived by the students as well as um, by the faculty. And, and from a student perspective, he expected us to do the best that we could. He expected the best from each of us. In, in those days, there was a lot more decisions that were made uh, solely by the dean. But Charles understood the worth of having committees, of having faculty and students and staff input and, uh, and so on. So uh, one of the things that Charles did was, which was controversial at the time, was to have law school committees with students on them. You know, he, he really changed legal education here at the University of Arizona. 
the college went from being a great state institution with deep roots in the state to being a great state institution with a national presence, with a national draw for students, with a national draw for leading scholars and staff under Charles' leadership. In 1966, Professor Ayers became Dean of the University of Arizona College of Law. We have never been the same. Charles Ayers' seven years as Dean have been called transformative and were characterized by, quote, high intellectual standards and boundless service in the public interest. By the end of his term in 1973, the changes undertaken through the leadership of Dean Ayers had raised the University of Arizona's reputation to that of one of the top public law schools. He held himself to very high standards, and so he held all of us to high standards, and that itself lifted the school up. It wasn't a school that was going to be satisfied with mediocre performance. But I would say Charles was, um, you know, in, to me and I'm sure to many others, the heart and soul of the law school. Chuck never looked for recognition or publicity. He got it because he earned it the old-fashioned way. It wasn't, he went out of his way to get it. He'll probably go down as the gold standard for being a dean or being a U of A law professor. He, he was very, very good and still is, I think. When I go to reunions uh, and when Charles is there, and often even if he's not at the reunion, inevitably uh, somebody will stand up and tell a story. And the story will have this common theme, that at some critical point, whether it was when they were deciding to come to the college or deciding whether they would continue in law school or deciding what path they would take or seeking a particular career opportunity, at some point, Charles Ayers will have had a critical conversation or made an essential call, a connection, given a piece of advice. The personal connection that he made to students over time comes out 50 and 60 years later in these stories they tell about their most important moments. Through his service to the College of Law and the profession, Charles, along with his wife Jean and their family, has touched a great many. He has been a mentor, a friend, a teacher, and a role model of uncommon character. His was a groundbreaking deanship, anchored in inspirational teaching, high ethical sensitivity, a keen intellect, and a vision for building a distinguished law school. We benefit every day from his stability, integrity, and vision. From the entire James E. Rogers College of Law community, its alumni, faculty, students, and friends, we salute Charles for his service and commitment to legal education. Charles Ayers is Arizona Law.